Welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour today with uh, berry wine, uh, rose matter, Mars brown, and a little bit of gold. These are all mixed with my mixing medium, which is Pearlescence Mixing Medium by Sergeant Art best stuff ever. You can find it on Amazon and there is a link in my description if you want to click on it and buy yourself some. By all means do that. I will get a tiny commission on an Amazon gift card to replenish some of my stock if you do decide to buy off of my link. Alright, I've got two 14 by 14 canvases ready to go with the white acrylic on there. I'm just going to give it a quick torch and we're going to do this. Now one thing I mentioned, forgot to mention, sorry, is this mixing medium suggests 10 to 1. So 10 parts mixing medium to 1 part acrylic. That seems really extreme, but I did try it on my previous video. I did a swipe and I did that mixture. So this rose matter is 10 parts mixing medium, 1 part acrylic. And this Mars Brown is also 10 parts mixing medium to one part acrylic. And the acrylics I'm using are Arteza, which I have hidden behind this beautiful painting. Our Artezas are right there. So I do one part acrylic to 10 parts mixing medium for this painting only. And this painting I just had drying, which is inspired by Cause Creations Art. Kathleen does these amazing swipes. This one is called a dry swipe. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. And the paint is actually quite sparkly, pearlized. It looks really nice. I don't know if the camera picked it up very well, but love my painting. So if you haven't checked out Cause Creations, go check her out. Kathleen is awesome. Fabulous teacher as well. And also Tammy Anderson, she has a channel Tammy Anderson Art. She's trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. Go see her as well if you haven't already. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to first put down my berry wine. Yeah, berry wine it's called. And I think I'm going to go just in a bit of a loop-de-loo. Okay, doesn't matter that I drip there because I'm going to be blowing it out anyways. Now if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And everybody that keeps coming back, thank you so much. You know how much I appreciate it. All the comments, all the thumbs up. Just keep them coming. It really does make my day. Doing this YouTube stuff can sometimes get a little discouraging because... You're not getting the views that you're hoping for, and sometimes you get a thumbs down. So please keep them coming. It keeps me going. Alrighty, now I'm going to do the Mars Brown. And the Dutch Pours is something that really takes some skill. It looks easy enough. It's not. you got to have the mixture perfect. It's definitely a little bit of a challenge for me anyways, but I keep practicing. And this is my gold. Okay. So now I'm going to do a little bit of a flood on either side and blow it out. We're going to make some noise. So let me just grab my white. This is just to help the paint flow as I blow dry it. I want to have lots of movement, I'm hoping, with this one. Because really for a dust pour, it's all in your consistency of your paint. That's how you get your success. Okay. 
Let me grab my blow dryer. And I usually blow a little bit of white into the colors. I'm not going to do that this time. I want to give it a try without doing that. So I'm just going to be blowing this way and that way with my color. And we'll see how it looks. Let me put my torch away because I'll probably blow that everywhere. Okay, let's make some noise. Hold on. give it a little bit of a torch. Now none of these paints had any silicone in them. And I've got cells coming up so definitely this pearlescence mixing medium helps create a little bit of cells. They're not huge but they're there. I don't even know if I said that right. I don't have any silicone in these paints. Did I say that right? It's just the mixing medium, acrylic paint, and a little bit of water to mix for my consistency. Okay, now I'm gonna get my little airbrush, my favorite tool. This is a cordless airbrush. Got it off Amazon. Best $60 I ever spent. Love this machine. Now I'm just going to blow out some of my edges. Way better than using a straw, I find anyways. I like to soften up my edges. Now this Mars Brown I put down, because it's a 10 part pearlescent mixing medium to one part acrylic, it actually dries quite shiny. It's very pretty. I like that so far. Put some of that gold in there. There we go. Okay. I like how this turned out. I don't think I'm going to have to fiddle with it too much at all. It's gorgeous. Hopefully the side view has got a beautiful shot of it because it's Gorgeous. Okay, let me give it another quick little torch. Got some lacing happening through here. Alrighty. There we have it my Dutch pour of the day. I really like how this turned out. All right, everybody, please hit subscribe. Come back and watch another video. Oh, I forgot to show you guys all these um, strainers I did from Amazon. It was a five pack. Four of the paintings are dry that I did. Let me show them quickly. There's one of them. 
And here's another one. Hopefully it's picking up the shine in the paint because it's just awesome. And that's all the pearlescent mixing medium mixed in with any of your acrylic paints. Makes it nice and bright and shiny. And the last one is this one here. <clears throat> there we go. Can you see how shiny that is at all? All right. So there you have it. There's the four paintings dry from my strainers. Maybe I'll get Greg to put that video up just in case you haven't seen it. I don't know. I never know what he's going to pick. But there'll be a video coming up. Click on it. Stick around and watch another video. Remember, hit subscribe. And thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate every one of you. Thanks.